We are not South Africans, but we are Africans. So we are not Somalians, we are not Nigerians, we are not uh, Congolese or anything like that, or Black Americans or Afro Americans. We are not that. We are Africans. That's why the war or anything that is uh, directed to Africans in the US or anything that is directed in, uh, to the Africans um, in, in London or anywhere in the world is also directed to us. Um, think of solidarity or um, you know, see our as well, our or something like that. We are African people, one people. So the struggle of African people anywhere in the world is our struggle here in the country. Um, so um, in uh, 2022, last year. Uh, the FBI, the ATK movement, uh, went to uh, you know, seven locations 
um, including is in like a privately owned house. Um, the chairman and, and other comrades, like the comrade um, Achille. They went there, they raided um, you know, the places, but Pula is in Pula, 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 and everything. And then it was an attack in Zagalang about 5 a.m. So the very same thing, uh, 5 a.m. attack by FBI, is not a new thing to Mabanjo uh, Miyama, you know. <coughs> it's something that had happened before. And it happened, like, when Zavala went um, you know, our leaders died there. Fred Hamtim was killed in the same uh, way. So this was, um, you know, the same question of attacking, um, you know, the leaders of the uh, Black Liberation Movement. So the attack there, and then, but unfortunately uh, speaking, um, the SSF, you know, the chairman was um, already preparing for some things. Um, you know, and uh, in DC or now they were already working on some uh, meetings, uh, preparing for AMA, AMA meetings and projects that we have in the US. But then, back in the Nauma office um, and, and other houses, they took staff. They were going to Chile. And as a, uh, like afterwards, that's when this campaign that we are here on uh, Ngayo, the Hands of Uhuru, Hands of Africa campaign, um, Lab as a defense campaign, as a counter-offensive um, campaign, you cannot attack um, our leadership or our movement when business are true and as usual, great business, as usual. The attack has to end, and the African Revolution will happen whether or, or, like, or not. You see, um, FBI attacks us or anything like that, whether it ends or ends or the South African uh, police can attack the African Revolution has to happen. Hence, we have this um, Heads of Uhuru com uh, campaign. And this campaign, um, I just want to say this, which is, it brought uh, many people into the movement. Like, there was a huge influx here yeah, at uh, Like, I want to assign our chain and join the, the, the movement. I want to donate to the movement. I want to do this to the movement. So, the attack of, of the FBI, they did not expect that, right? They expected which maybe is Ubalega, Spona, like, okay, I'm going associated with this movement or this organization or this person. But then instead, the opposite happens. So we have to amplify and ensure which um, this campaign gets stronger and, and, and powerful. Which the next time the FBI or the American um, government thinks of attacking or just laying a hand to the Uhuru movement, it has to think twice. So that's why we are here today. So, um, Africa, before um, we go to the embassy, we're gonna have just two things because um, we, we, we know which is, we have, like the whole movement is not just located in one place, right? It, it's all over the world. Um, all African people, um, like in the Caribbean, in, in you know, London, in Nigeria, in, in, in Sierra Leone and so on, we are there. So we have Ama, um, a statement, solidarity statement from uh, you know other forces on the ground who are not here. So we're gonna have that, and then also we have a statement for uh, you know in solidarity with the Palestinian um, revolution that is being attacked right now by Israel. We understand that which is, we are facing the same thing uh, that uh, African people are having, uh, which is colonialism oppression by foreign uh, you know power white people will come here and then colonize you like own everything and control you in every aspect of your life that's colonialism so um palestinians are facing the same thing just like here in south africa just like in the u.s white people come from somewhere where they come from uh, 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 europe and then they come to your land and then occupy and like, kill the vessels there, and then occupy the land, and then like, now run everything. They settle there. It becomes their, uh, their, their place. That's why uh, we have this slogan, which is one settler, one bullet. Or settler, settler, bullet, bullet. You know? So it's because we understand which are my settlers, well, are hard. And we also have, uh, you know, our slogans in terms of our bread peace and uh, bread peace and black power campaign that we had also in, in 2021. 
which is, who are the real losers? The government and the settlers. So, this thing, is the same thing, so we have to deal with it as not just as, as, as maybe our our here, yeah, but we have to recognize it everywhere in and be in solidarity with whoever is trying to fight for colonialism. So here I'm gonna read on um, a statement to say about this. Like yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, okay. So this is the statement um, from the Uhuru movement. Uh, the Hands of Uhuru, Hands of Africa um, campaign in solidarity with uh, Palestinian, uh, you know, uh, the, the Palestinians. So it says here, yeah, Hands of Uhuru fight their coalition stands with Palestine. Um, so we say colonialism must go. Hands of Uhuru fight their coalition stands in deep unity with Palestinian. Uh, with the Palestinian people's historic anti-colonial counter-offensive counter against the U.S.-backed um, colonial settler state of Israel. The African, indigenous, Mexican, Filipino, Cuban, Venezuelan, and other oppressed people of the world stand together with the Palestine in, an, in a united front against colonialism, our common, uh, our common enemy. Our unity with, the, uh, with Palestine goes beyond well-wishing. We recognize that their struggle and ours are inter, uh, interwoven in our shared global anti-colonial project to overturn the parasitic, blood-sucking colonial mode of production. Built on the stolen labor and lives of enslaved Africans and on the stolen land and genocide committed against the indigenous people. From St. Louis, Missouri to Gaza, it is clear a new day in history has arrived. The colonial world order built on our, uh, our suffering and exploitation is coming to an end. Evidence of this new era of anti-colonial resistance is exploding throughout the world in Niger, Mali, Burkina Faso, Haiti, Palestine, and in Africa. Mexican and indigenous communities throughout the U.S. <coughs> the colonial powers know the oppressed people are breaking free of their stronghold. On July 20, uh, on July 29, 2022, they deployed hundreds of militarized FBI forces on seven homes and offices of the African People's Socialist Party and the Uhuru movement, including its founder and leader, Chairman Omali Yashikela spiking the formation of the hands of Uhuru fight back coalition. This raid and the subsequent indictments of Chairman Omali and the Uhuru movement and the Uhuru 3 on bogus charges revealed not the strength of imperialist white power but its, weak, but its weakness and decline in the face of a rapidly changing world of which Gaza, Gaza is another shining example. Uhuru. Uhuru. We denounce all the brutal, desperate acts by the uh, global counterinsurgency to try to stop the, the forward motion of the human progress. This includes Israel's ongoing barbaric, genocidal slaughter of the Palestinians in Gaza. The Israel, uh, Israeli uh, military has launched over 1,000 airstrikes in the past three days, um, meaning at the time this um, statement was written. Was released, um, killing over 900 Palestinians and obliterating mosques, uh, mosques, 
uh, hospitals and other health facilities, medical teams and ambulances. Palestinian bloodshed expected brutally by Zionist thugs is what best the state of Israel. Israel was formally established in 1948 as the um, culmination of genocidal process known as the Nakba, in which Zionist, uh, Zionist in which Zionist um, terrorists slaughtered Palestinians, burned their villages, and expelled nearly a million of them from their homelands. In 1976, in 1967, Israel expanded its occupation of Arab land to include Gaza, West Bank, um, East Jerusalem, and Golden, um, Golden Heights. The founding of Israel and on Palestinian land was the initiation of a constant, unending state of warfare against the Palestinian people for the past 75 years. Over 200 Palestinians were killed by Israel in the past year alone. Those of Palestinians, um, those thousands, or thousands of Palestinians are locked down in Israel, uh, Israeli prisons where they are starved and tortured. Israel has announced a complete siege of Gaza, cutting off all access to electricity, food, water, and fuel in the densely populated open air prison where 2.1 million Palestinians, more than half of them children, have been suffering under an enhanced vicious blockade for the past 16 years. We reject the US um, ruling class media's uh, slanderous de uh, designation of the Palestinian people resistance organi organizations as terrorists. The Palestinian people have the right to resist. While the US media claims that Hamas waged an unprovoked attack on Israel, the truth is that the mere existence of Israel itself is a provocation against the Palestinians. Um, throughout its more than 50 years of existence, the African People's Socialist Party has united firmly with the Palestinian people. Chairman Omali has constant, uh, consistently stood shoulder to shoulder with um, Palestinian, Palestinians in their just and righteous struggle for national liberation. This stands by the APSP, uh, APSP represents the continuum of anti-colonial unity demonstrated by the Black Liberation Movement historically as embodied by the great Malcolm X who visited the Gaza Strip in 1964, just one year before he was assassinated by the, UF, uh, by the FBI and US government. Mm -hmm. As Chairman O'Malley has stated, what is known as Israel is in fact a white nationalist illegitimate, illegitimate colonial settler um, state built on pillage, land theft, and genocide. No difference from the colonial settler states um, of the US, Canada, Australia, South Africa, and New Zealand. Israel receives, uh, receives more than or more US funding for weapons than all other countries combined. Israel operates, um, operates as a military outpost of U.S. imperialism in the Middle East, facilitating access to resources and saving as a tool for U.S. colonial policy in the Arab world in, and in Africa. The courage of the Palestinian people to stand up and fight back is an inspiration to colonize peoples everywhere. As this statement is being written, the U.S. is sending more ships, aircraft, and uh, munitions to the Israeli, uh, Israeli mil military, but no amount of bombs will succeed in inhalimating the will of the Palestinian and oppressed and or colonized peoples of the world to fight and win our liberation and independence. Uhuru. Uh -huh. Hands of Uhuru fight the coalition calls for freedom loving people in the US and around the world to come, uh, converge on Washington DC on November um, for 2023, which is today, and throughout the world, um, for the uh, for the 15th March annual Black uh, People's March on the White House, 
led by the Black is Back Coalition for Social Justice, Peace and Reparations. The Black People's March will represent a turning point in the emergence of the anti-colonial free speech movement and will uphold the leadership and demands by Africans, indigenous people, Palestinians, and all who fight and resist colonial oppression. The Black People's March on the White House will demand the U.S. government to drop the charges against the U.S. three Chairman O'Malley Shichela and the Uhuru Solidarity leaders Penny Hess and Jesse Neville, who faced bogus foreign agents charges for fighting against the uh, genocide of African people and for reparations. The Black People's March will demand the release of all political prisoners, including uh, Mumia Abu Jamal, Leonard Peltia, uh, Pel Peltia, and the Holy Land Five, the Palestinian men imprisoned by the U.S. on false charges of material support for terrorism. Uhuru. Uhuru. One Africa. One nation. One nation. One Africa. Israel to. E Africa. E Africa. Israel to. Uhuru.
my side, I will stop. But it's our land, you know. Hands off Chairman of Mali Shitela, hands off Penny Hess, hands off Jesse Neville, hands off Director Akile, hands off the African Liberation Movement. Uhuru. Yeah, Uhuru, Africa. Uhuru. Yeah, um, we are here on our way to the U.S. Embassy at the American White House here in South Africa, in Pretoria. Um, we want to make a statement to yeah. hands off Chairman of Mali, hands off, hands off Uhuru, hands off um, Africa, hands off uh, the African Liberation Movement, CAELN. We want to do this and is our uh, right. We want to uh, free, free, free speech, freedom of free, free speech. Mm, freedom everywhere. of free speech, yeah. For sure. So, you can uh, be Siso Chelwa, Abelu, Mulana, Uhuru. Got the charges against the Uhuru tree. Mm -hmm. Not permitted. Okay, we are here at the US Embassy. We are about to deliver this document to them, letting know, them know that they have to hands off the Uhuru tray. We're demanding that, that all the charges be dropped uh, against Chairman Omalish Teller, JC Neville, and uh, Penny Hess. We are the unindicted co conspirators, and we are here at the US Embassy. What up the car? Thank 
I think we are four. Right? Okay. Hmm. All right, we are here at the U.S. Embassy, and we are about to deliver these demands to them that they free Chairman Omalia Shitela, that they free Mumia Abu Jamal, and uh, comrade, um, comrades are uh, like the Apla comrades who are here in South Africa imprisoned. But also, we want to talk about specifically in terms of the U.S that Ashraf Brown and other freedom fighters that are in the uh, dungeons of the U.S. imperialist prisons must be freed. And we're saying hands off Chairman Omale Chitela, hands off Comrade Penny Hess, hands off Comrade Jesse Neville, and we're saying hands off Africa, hands off Uhuru Africa, hands off Africa. We're saying that because Africa is colonized, we are here in Pretoria in the headquarters of South African neo-colonialist state, and we're saying that African people from the townships can get you wherever you are, and we are here to make that statement. So we are just waiting for them, man, Jim Africa. And no one has that document in it now, you know? We demand that they drop the charges. What's why never can I do? Never can spray. Sharp hands off you. Yeah, life. When you talk life, when you shopping, you go to go choose. Yeah. The person is never there for us. Yeah. Yeah. When you get us get so this part is starting the Pretoria Union building. So any Valapana in the city of Ayele says Union building. So I'm straight to the Bella E program here to land. So um, Africa, um, I will start off the program is to buy reading e-solidarity statements from um, Southern Africa region 
uh, chair, the chairperson of the Southern African region of the African People's Socialist Party. So then I read as follows now. Hands of Uhuru, hands of Africa. No, not one step back. Uhuru comrades, revolutionary salutations to the chairman of the African People's Socialist Party, chair of Mali, Velasco, Stella, and the entire NCC of our revolutionary party. Today we mobilize throughout the entire world our forces as we take to the streets all over the world for the 15th uh, Black is Back Coalition March with a determination to defend the gains made towards African liberation. Congress, the Southern Africa region has a crucial role to play in dismantling um, the chains of colonialism and there is all of you present today that will speed up the death of colonialism within our lifetime. I want to salute you all for the courage shown in being uh, present to make your voice heard as we defend our leadership, the Uhuru 3 and party from the imperialist capitalist um, beast called the US government. Africa will not forget your uh, contribution, neither will we, the APSP. Today the world is weeping uh, for the Palestinians who are systematically being eliminated by the Zionist Israeli dictatorship and the US government and as such it, it, our, it is our duty as African internationalists to oppose and resi resist the oppression of our sisters and brothers over there. Still we draw our very last breath yet we should not forget that the production and the right to self-determination we are our own liberators and the U.S. government will not silence our party uh, leadership without a fight back from all of us here in the region, the continent and the world all over. Those of us who can be there with you are indeed mobilizing in Zambia, Namibia and West Africa as well. So rest assured, you are not isolated. The APSP is gaining grounds throughout the motherland. I leave you with words of courage from our beloved leader, uh, leader known as um, Ali uh, Amil Cabral saying always bear in mind that the people are not fighting for ideas mm -hmm. for the things in anyone's head they are fighting to win material benefits to live better and in peace to see the, the lives of um, the lives go forward to guarantee the future of their children is the way to Uhuru. Yeah, so this is, um, you know, from the African uh, People Socialist Party, uh, Southern Africa region, Chairman Vito. He is in uh, Namibia. So, I'm telling you about the Africa Vito and the comrades there on the ground in uh, Namibia. And also, uh, United Uguchi, you are not isolated from Africa. Like I said uh, in the beginning, Uguchi, this whole uh, march is happening not just here in Uchipa, Tanzania, but also in the Zagala, Tamati, Lelo, even the Uhuru movement is called. There is an um, action in Zagala. So, indeed, you are not isolated. And the next time, we will ensure in the Southern Africa region, Uguchi, Inambale says rule. You know, when you do in Izinto, Inambale says rule. You have a name, no good to the land. So I really want to also uh, express my appreciation um, uh, on top of Uchemen's way to Uchi, Jabonga Kulma, for the courage, uh, for, you know, just being here. You could have been maybe in Uber somewhere or Dalamatais or Ukula or Winsa something somewhere. You could have been somewhere doing something, but you chose to be here with uh, you know the, the African Revolution. So Shabu Kulum Africa for your time. So for now, um, we would like to have U Chairman Um Chafari, who is the chairperson of the African People's Socialist Party. La e South Africa, Okupara, Okupara Zani. And then 
Um, he's also the director of organization in Africa region. So meaning all the work is in the African continent. Um, the director is responsible for this. And we really want to, um, you know, um, salute you, Kumbel, for, for your work uh, and the leadership. So we'd like to have a statement uh, in terms of our pointers for this campaign. Uhuru. Uhuru. Hands of Chairman of Mali Ishtela, Hands of Africa. Hands of Chairman of Mali Ishtela. Hands of Africa. Hands of Uhuru. Hands of Africa. Hands of Penny Hairs. Hands of Africa. Hands of Jesse Neven. Hands of Africa. Touch one. Touch one. Touch one. Touch one. Israel too. Africa. The Africa. Israel too. Uhuru. Comrades, uh, this is going to be a bit of a lengthy document. I'll ask you to manum page and next year and there. So as it has been said, Ikamala Mutafar Mugiri. I'm the director of organization for the African People's Socialist Party in Africa. I'm also the president of the International People's Democratic Uhuru Movement uh, in Kokosi and here in South Africa. So I am going to read the statement. Why we are here? Ne? Our leader, Chairman Omali Ejitela, he is currently under attack by the U.S. government. So, Haribuaka U.S., most of the time we become scared because we know how the U.S. deals uh, with the people, oppressed people around the world again. But because we have a slogan here in South Africa, uh, we are not scared. So, I will initiate that slogan and then I know the response will not be that complicated. Niyabasabana! Asi wa saba na Asi wa saba Si ya wafuna Si ya wafuna Maybe Joe Biden doesn't understand what you're saying But we are simply saying that We're not scared Haratu uha Haratu afo yuli rita mutuitori Rita tutuwa Because there are many Africans around here So we save, right? So all the white people have to know that the African people are no longer scared anymore. Oh. 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 Talking points and information on the case. One, indictments were issued April 18, 2023. Arrangements in Federal Court, Middle District of Florida in, in Tampa on May 2nd. For Chairman Omalia Shitela, represented by Attorney Ad uh, Griffin and Penny Hess, represented by Attorney Leonard Goodman. Jesse Neville was arraigned. Uh, on May 8, represented by attorney Mutaki Agba. Current status of the case. At the May 2nd arrangement, African People's Socialist Party, Chairman Omali Ejitela, 81 years old and Penny Hair 77, were shackled in handcuffs and leg irons after reporting for the arrangement in a court peg with supporters. As the target of the indictment, Chairman Omari Ejitela faces federal charges after a lifetime of organizing dedicated to the liberation of Africa and African people everywhere. At the May 8th appearance, Jesse Neville was also shackled. All were released on 250,000 US dollar signature bonds, like uh, a bail, and have been placed under pre-trial supervision. A trial date has not yet been said. So if Chairman Lipeni has the Jesse Neville, Baba Totra may be from Jubek by Epitori, they must report to the police. Then to get the approval, you know how it works most. They do that to some of us even here in South Africa. Now here they say, Penny Hess and Jesse Neville, two white people working under the leadership of the APSP also face charges after organizing for decades in the white community for solidarity and reparations to the black community. Hess is the chair of the African People's Solidarity Committee and Neville is the chair of the Uhuru Solidarity Movement. White organizations organizing for white reparations to African and uh, African people and directly accountable to the APSP. So, Renali organization, 
they report to us. They go to other Mahua to do what? To collect reparations. What white people owe us. That's why those two white people, Mole, we invited them. They didn't come, you know? We invited them. Why? Because as a white person, if you say you're a genuine human being, then you must unite with black power against white power. Known as the Uhuru Tree, the indictment charges them with conspiracy to commit an offense against the United States, acting as an agent of foreign government and foreign officials to wit the Russian Federation in violation of uh, 18 U.S.C. and uh, 951A with a maximum prison sentence of 15 years. Charges vigorously denied as completely bogus by the Uhuru Tree. So if chairman goes to jail and he's 82 years old, he can be in jail for 15 years. That's like a death sentence. The indictment came nine months after a militarized multi-state FBI raid used to a flash a bank devices, drones, armored vehicles, automatic weapons, and scores of a flag jacket, a flag jacket, flag jacketed soldiers to seize computers, hard drive, high drives, phones and files from seven homes and offices of the Uhuru movement leaders. So banki lady for Uhuru, laptops, everything, our files, and then they're keeping them with them right now. It's like they stole them from our offices. The July 29, 2022 FBI militarized pre dawn raid. On July 29, the US government attacked the African People's Socialist Party with a violent FBI attack on seven offices and homes of APSP and Uhuru movement leaders, including the home of Chairman Omali Shitela and Deputy Chair Ola Zine in St. Louis, the Uhuru House in St. Petersburg, the Uhuru Solidarity Soul Center in St. Louis. Uhuru. Uhuru. Chairman, Deputy Chair Ola Zine and others were handcuffed with assault rifle pointed at them. The FBI used flash bank grenades, drones, battered, uh, battering rams, breaking doors down, windows, stealing property, computers, phones, files, and archives. Uh, free speech. So they're saying we have the right to free speech. That's why even here we can say, fuck Cyril Ramaphosa, you know? We can say that because it's free, free speech, you know. We don't care whether he's there, right there in that office. A horror. Shoot the settler. And uh, so he says here, yeah, free speech. Throughout his 81 years, uh, he has been arrested, shot at, beaten, firebombed, pepper sprayed, and imprisoned for exercising his right to speak the truth of life as it is experienced by black people in America. Neither he nor the Uhuru movement has ever been accused of crimes of violence or theft, only of thoughts, crimes. And for exercising the supposed American principle of free speech. These indictments recall the FBI control program, which unleashed assassinations, false arrests, provocateurs, and slander against the black activists and leaders in the 1960s and 70s. Those who attend our studies, they remember what we talked about, about counterinsurgency. Right? So this is a form of counterinsurgency. And then here we say that, uh, they're saying that um, the ACLU rights, Quentin Pro targeted numerous non-violent protest groups and political dis dissidents with illegal uh, wiretapes, warrantless physical searches, and an array of other dirty tricks. The FBI has a long history of abusing its national security surveillance power. The potential for abuse is once again great, particularly given that the lines between criminal investigations and foreign intelligence operations have been blurred or erased since 9-11. As a result, the intrusive surveillance tools are originally developed to target Soviet spies are increasingly being used against uh, 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 so-called Americans. These attacks designed to silence Chairman Omali Eshitela include, but before we say that, you remember 9-11, eh? when uh, two planes 
are bombed the what do they call them what uh, those what uh, world uh, trade centers the trade uh, in in the u.s right so they blamed afghanistan for that and they blamed saddam hussein another saddam hussein who's that bin laden and then they went to occupy um, afghanistan for 20 years but afghanistan is free now from u.s imperialism 1966 removal of racist mural from St. Petersburg Hall uh, following the conviction five year sentence. That 1966, Chairman of Mali Shitala was arrested for Ingi. Atwala Sisno says Chairman Libota here, that's a uh, colonizer, Avanta State Chusa Tengmo. So because he did that, he was arrested, Chairman of Mali in 1966. I'm wondering why this white man brother is still here. If chairman could do it in 1966, why can't we do it today in 2023? That's the question, you know. In uh, 1968, in Gainesville, Flor Florida, arrested after a speech following the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. for inciting to riot, despite the fact that no riot occurred. So 1968, chairman Omali Shitela was um, arrested again for after Babulayne Martin Luther King. Ne? For the death of Martin Luther King. When the uh, uh, sanitation workers in St. Petersburg went on strike, the Florida Attorney General uh, pressured Yeshitela's uh, Attorney General the Florida Attorney General pressured Yeshitela's bondsmen to revoke his bond so that he could not return to St. Petersburg because of what I must say, as Chairman Malishila said. 1978, short egg, but you did not go to Chairman Malishila, but but uh, at while driving SP, uh, delivering, de delivering a speech in, uh, in San Francisco, California, in 1980s, in the 1980s, uh, Chairman of Manager House was firebombed in Oakland, California. For California, but I just bomb going to be a Chairman of Manager in the 1980s. 1996, over 300 armed forces. Over 300 Yama police and forces from various agencies surrounded the Uhuru House in St. Petersburg using tear gas, helicopters, and a small plane to disrupt a community meeting taking place to discuss a grand jury failure to indict two police death in the death of an unarmed black motorist named uh, Tyron Lewis. So 1996, Chairman of Malaysia, back in the Uhuru's, but I can't even tell you how that were there in the city. That's why sometimes voice of Chairman of Malaysia is not going to cover their head, and and also his eyes is because of that thing that happened in 1996. Agency, we are our only barriers. We are our only barriers. I wonder who are the Malayans, I wonder the Indians or Arabs or whatever. Africans will fight our own war. And we will win it. Ne? And then it says here, it's a racist insult to say that Chairman Omali Shitela is not his own person, always speaking and in acting in the interest of the African working class. The chairman has developed the political theory of African internationalism. Um, And the understanding of the colonial mode of production, the driving force of the capitalist world economy. There are countless documented speeches, published books, a monthly journal, the British Bay newspaper, since 1969, archived at the University of Florida, initiating and leading organizations for black rights and opposing U.S. wars, etc. The African People's Service and Socialist Party was founded in 1972 and has for over 50 years maintained a consistent worldview and carried out a consistent program of organizing for the liberation of African people worldwide. It is guided by the political theory of African internationalism, developed by Chairman Omali Ejitela and published in numerous uh, books as well as on the pages of the Benin's Spear newspaper issued I mean, issues of which can be viewed in the digital newspaper collection of the University of Florida. Chairman Omani Shitela, development of the concept of the colonial mode of production, 
This is colonialism. Uh, being a policy is taking hold today. We are saying that as long as you are black, you are colonized. All African people are colonized. Black communities have determination. We are targeted in part because the Uhuru movement rejects the U.S. warfare slavery that seeks to control and contain the black community, choosing rather to build independent community programs across the country to meet the people's needs for food, clothing, shelter, healthcare, education, and economic self-sufficiency. The APSP has maintained economic self-sufficiency throughout its existence, ensuring that its political agenda serves the interest of its self-defined program for African liberation and is uh, dictated and, and is not dictated by any external force. Picking oranges, backyard fishes, a fish fries, and selling the Benny Spain newspaper on the street provided resources for the APSP in its infancy. Soon expanding to a bookstore, restaurant, bakery cafe, and graphic design businesses. Why don't we have those things for us? We have to every day. I mean, we need... There are many things that we need to do every day, but we have... We have to do it plus. So if these enemies want to kill us, we can't do it anytime. So look at what the Uhuru movement has done under the leadership of the chairman of Malia Shitela. Renza bookstore, restaurant, bakery cafe, and graphic design businesses. We've done more than that, by the way. The APSP strategic move to create the African People's Solidarity Committee and a movement of white re reparations to the black community today produces resources for the thousands of individual do donors from members of the colonizer nation. These reparations combine with financial support from black workers and the granting agencies in the U.S. to fund the Uhuru movement work. Today, Black Power Blueprint has brought life and hope back to the deeply impoverished North Side, building community centers, gardens, farmers, uh, markets, housing and workforce programs for formerly incarcerated African people, trainings for doulas and midwives, and it is now working to construct a Black Women's Health Center for the, uh, uh, to build community-based solutions to the grave and genocidal rates of infant and maternal uh, mortality faced by the African women in this country. The Uhuru movement has also initiated African self-reliance programs, international, in, internationally including rainwater harvesting, a disaster relief agency, midwifery school, free telehealth program, and more. We did that in Sierra Leone, in Africa. The Ritusa farmers, the Pepa Shab, without complications. The Uhuru movement, under the leadership of Chairman Omali Shitela, has done that. In addition to raiding and filing charges against Uhuru leaders, the government. One Africa? One nation. One nation? One Africa. The government has enlisted the assistance of several financial institutions to impose economic sanctions attacking these black self-help programs. Legacy of FBI war on black liberation. So tomorrow the FBI we are taking our one to one. The US Bureau of Investigation, later called the FBI, hired its first, I mean its first black agent in 1999 to infiltrate Garvey's, Marcus Garvey's UNIA, framing him, jailing him, exiling him back to Jamaica and destroying his movement. You know Marcus Garvey, eh? The red, black and green colors tail. Flaka Ale, it's all from Marcus Garvey. He's, you know, an ancestor, a revolutionary freedom fighter for black people. Ohoro. And then here, Scores of black leaders and organizations have been targeted by the FBI, many of them with an accusation of friend friendship with Russia, including W.E.B. Dubois, Paul Robinson, and Martin Luther King Jr. 
Quantum Pro in the 1960s is well known for its program for to silence black leaders and cash black organizations. We chat genocide. History of black people charging the U.S. government of genocide under the UN, uh, UN conventions, both the war movement since its inception and the black leaders and other black leaders. This is not new, nor directed by Russia, as the indictment alleges. From its earliest days, the APSP publicized the fact that African people faced genocide at the hands of the U.S. government and brought this charge before the world community and the United Nations. One, one settler! One, one bullet. bullet! One bullet! One settler! So basically, Africans, we live under genocide. White genocide on African people. As African people were poor because white people require the labor and resources of Africans. It was white people who came from Europe to Africa and looted our resources. It was Europeans who came here and impoverished Africans. And now they are tourists. Uru. So, from its earliest day, the EPSP publicized the fact that African people face genocide at the hands of the U.S. government. The EPSP held the first international tribunal on reparations for black people in the U.S. in New York City in 1982. The tribunal had testimony to show uh, to show how the U.S. violates the U.N. Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of the Crime of Genocide. For 40 plus years, the APSB introduced the reparations demand into the into black community struggles against police violence, unjust imprisonment, and the denial of decent housing, education, health care, and economic development, making reparations the household where it is today. We claim the right to organize to organize internationally. Chairman of Manage Italia's international travel and developing relations of solidarity around the world. He was the spoke he has spoken at the United Nations and represented black people at gatherings in Nicaragua, Huelva, Spain, Big Mountain AZ, Na Na Navajo, aka Dine, South Africa, Sierra Leone. Ireland, France, Netherlands, Jamaica, the Bahamas. In 2019, Chairman O'Malley won the Africa debate at the Oxford Union in England. So Chairman Khalat O'Malley Fazila Gaufela, Abuela Watoban to say that we must win, we must get our liberation from white power. FBI tries to suppress the black vote. These charges come in context of current and historic efforts to prevent black people from participating in elections or voting. Chairman O'Malley faced lynchings to register black people to vote in South, in the South, in the 1960s as a, a field organizer with the Student and Violent Co Coordinating Committee. Today he leads the Black is Black Coalition for Social Justice, Peace and Reparations, which holds an annual free school teaching regular black people to run for office and which developed the platform that Uhuru candidates have run on. Now the DOJ is saying the Russian, the Russian government created that platform and alleges election interference. They what? They told us. They told us we should go to the polls and vote if we wanted to make change. Now they arrest us for participating in the electoral system. You see? There's no democracy here, comrades. I want a democracy more. What is democracy? Democracy is about what they being able to gather here and say what we want to say again. Being able to not to be harassed by the police, but we've already been harassed here by the security personnel. Democracy, we said is what? It's about owning and controlling what you need to survive, right? But Africa is in the hands of the colonizers. Democracy is about self-determination. So we don't have democracy. Even if you can vote, doesn't mean we are free. 
the party's powerful response, Hands of Uhuru, Hands of Africa, go to www.handsofuhuru.org. Website has uh, documented all media coverage and collected scores of solidarity statements from organizations and individuals. In the nine months between the violent FBI raids and indictments, the Hands of Uhuru Committee and Chairman Omali Yeshitela have held numerous events, mass meetings, actions gaining broad support against these brutal attacks. Interviews with Chairman Omali Yeshitela, Hairs and Naval are posted on the Hands of Uhuru along with scores of supporters. In September, the Hands of Uhuru uh, Committee launched a powerful tour of the Chairman at the Newark event. You can go to the Hands of Uhuru.org website to see that. The chairman has been a non-stop media campaign. Has been on a non-stop media campaign. The chairman interview on Democracy Now. The Fox News covered the chairman's uh, press conference. Party director Kila Anai press conference as well. The party is winning. We are winning, comrades. The FBI's effort to in, uh, intimidate the party and their supporters has backfired. So what do you say, sir? But it goes back to them. There's nothing they can do anymore. It's, it's our time to rise as African people. But if you are scared uh, of, 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 of the system, uh, then you're already dead because the system is dying, then you're dying with the system. You know what I'm saying? So the, the more the system goes down, the more we rise, comrades. We don't go down with the system. The, parties co the party continued all its work despite the attacks. Through thousands of donations from supporters, including white people saying reparations. The party was able to successfully complete the Black Community Bank Ball Court, launch the African Women's Doula Program, paint the beautiful murals, maintain the community garden, the farmer's market, and many more projects of the Black Power Blueprint in St. Uh, St. Louis. Here's what you can do. This is what you can do, comrades. Donate to the Hands of Uhuru campaign. Go to www www.handsofuhuru.org forward slash donate. Join the Hands of Committee or start your own in your area. Sign the petition at Hands of Uhuru. Hold a fundraiser and or print the flyer. Sign up for the emergency response. Uhuru. Uhuru. When I say Hands of Chairman Omali Eshitela, you say Hands of Africa. Hands of Chairman Nobali Hands of Africa. Hands of Uhuru. Hands of Africa. Hands of Chairman Nobali Hands of Africa. Touch one. Touch one. Touch one. Touch one. Touch one. Israel too. Africa. Africa. Israel Africa. Just one more thing, comrades. We are from the townships. We came here as organizers. And when we go back to Bokasi, we're going back to organize. Until this beast, as Comrade Visto has referred to it, this whole social system has been destroyed. As long as Botagi is suffering, as long as the drugs are killing us there, as long as the police are harassing us, the poverty and everything will continue to fight until Africa is free. Uhuru. Yeah. Uhuru, Uhuru. Um, thank you so much, my Africa um, director. Um, I just want to also, um, just uh, before we close the program, to thank your leadership and also to unite with the statement that uh, we just read. Um, Africa, I'm sure, um, you know, from now what we want to do is we're going to have um, Ilan Shea too, um, so that we can fill up and get some energy and then be able to talk to the people here around um, the park. So um, we'll end the, 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 the program. Uh, thank you so much, my Africa. Go to www.handsofuhuru.org. Um, Handsofuhuru.org. Then you can be able to get information in terms of the whole campaign of the uh, Hands of Uhuru, Hands of Africa. And um, we have everything, every information that you, uh, you need. You can contact us. Um, everything is there on the internet, on the uh, website. Guru.